Hey everyone, welcome to the OWASP Top 10 course. We're specifically covering the 2017 OWASP Top 10. My name is Ken Underhill, I'll be your instructor. I've also had a couple of teaching assistants that I'll give a quick shout out to as well, and you'll hear me talk about them throughout this course. They helped me build out some of the questions as well as some of the other supplemental material for the course, and also helped me with some of the research. So I want to give them a quick shout out. Carrie LeBlanc, as well as Martin Colville, and I'll talk about them a little later on in the course. So in this video, we're going to talk about the course structure. We'll also talk about who I am as your instructor, as well as some of the topics we're going to cover in this particular course. So the main objectives for this entire course are we're going to learn what the OWASP Top 10 for 2017 is. We'll talk about also the differences between the 2013 version and the 2017 version of the OWASP Top 10. So prerequisites. Well, technically there are none. However, you probably want to have uh, some basic networking knowledge, some operating system, web security, databases, that sort of stuff. Um, that'll be beneficial for the course. However, again, this course is really, I try to keep it at a high level, an introduction type course that anyone can take. Who am I? Why do you care, right? <laughs> Hopefully you care. Uh, so my name is Ken Underhill, as I mentioned before. I'm the Master Instructor at Cybury. I'm also an adjunct professor of digital forensics. I hold a master's in cybersecurity and information assurance, as well as an undergraduate degree in cybersecurity management and information systems. Uh, Certification-wise right now, I hold the Certified Ethical Hacker, as well as the Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator certs from EC Council. Um, and I'm actually studying for my CompTIA Pentest Plus right now. And uh, a little later on this year, some uh, Amazon certs, and uh, we'll see what else gets on the horizon. I've also uh, reviewed the uh, Certified Ethical Hacker exam for EC Council, as well as I've written questions for the EC Council Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator exam. Now, of course, I cannot give you the answers for that exam, uh, so please don't ask. All right, so what are we covering in this course? So uh, module one and module 12 are just gonna be basically the introduction and course summary, uh, just very high level overview type of stuff. And then modules two through 11, we're gonna cover the OWASP top 10 from 2017. So we're gonna cover injection, broken authentication, sensitive data exposure, XML external entities, or more commonly called XXE, broken access control, security misconfigurations. We're gonna cover cross-site scripting, which many people have probably heard about that in the media at least. Insecure deserialization, we're also gonna talk about what serialization is, so you can understand when we talk about insecure deserialization. We're also gonna talk about using components with known vulnerabilities, and then we'll wrap it up with insufficient logging and monitoring. So how is this course structured? Well, we've got the on-demand video, so um, I try not to kill you with the death by PowerPoint stuff. Um, so I try to keep the PowerPoints uh, basically 10 minutes or less, um, and then we jump into labs. So uh, we do have labs. I try to, uh, we do have at least one lab for every single module, so you can get a little hands-on. Um, and I'm just that type of learner. I like doing hands-on stuff, so uh, I try to include that for everybody else. And then we've got a ton of supplemental resources for you. So every single lab, we've uh, built out a step-by-step -step guide for you. So you can download it, look through it, practice the lab on your own, and then also watch the video as well as I go through it step-by-step -step for you. In addition to the lab step-by-steps, we've also got things like quiz questions to help you practice. Uh, all these PowerPoint slides that I'll use throughout the course are there in the supplemental resources, as well as some other helpful information. So just a quick post-assessment question here, and this one's pretty easy if you were paying, paying attention. So in the past, I have written questions for CompTIA. Is that true or false? All right, so if you were paying attention, you know the answer there is false. I've actually written questions for EC Council, but not CompTIA. All right, so in this video, we just talked about who I am as your instructor. We talked about the overarching course objectives. We also talked about the course structure and some of the topics that we're going to cover as far as the OWASP Top 10 is concerned. In the next video, we're going to talk about the differences between the OWASP Top 10 for 2013 versus the one that we're covering in this course for 2017. 